So what do you think about Kim and Kanye West's baby name, Northwest? Northwest, why not? Hmm. What's your take on the Trayvon Martin case and Rochelle? What I really found disheartening was how they tried to make fun of her. How they tried to make that, that sell her as someone who was fat, black, and must be stupid, must be dumb. You can't read, can you? Do you understand what I'm talking about? They had n absolutely no understanding of the culture that she comes from. I thought it was embarrassing and it hurt my heart to see that they were still trying to play into that image. But on top of everything, they wanted you to see all of what they wanted you to see and call her a liar. Mm. Thank God we all know that the devil is a liar. What do you think about Paula Deen's statements on the Today Show? Paula Deen's statements on the Today Show, I have to be honest, I don't talk about things that I did not see, but when she said, well, I have lots of friends. I love black people. I have one friend. He is black as that chalkboard. In fact, if you put him up against the chalkboard, you can't see him. I saw that. I heard that. It hurt my feelings. But with understanding, she is a woman from a different time who loves a good plantation wedding. But I do eat her pig candy. Amanda Bynes, she's all in the news right now, acting crazy. A child teen star gone wild. Listen, I met Amanda Bynes when she was 16 years old. She was young, full of potential. All of the world was in front of her, and it was a great time, she and her dad, who was her manager at the time. From that time until now, fame is a very unfriendly friend. Fame is not for everybody. Sometimes fame sets you up to take you down and out of the game. If you think she's acting crazy, you got it all wrong. Amanda Bynes is in an emotional, mental crisis. Stop making fun of her because it could be you. Something got to her brain, got to her head, and we need to open our hearts and do right by her. The hard part about that is, is she's older than 18. She has the right to make choices for herself. She cannot put herself in the care that she obviously needs right now, and her brain is calling for medication. These are difficult things that we need to grasp with, and the hard part is that in America, we do not take mental illness seriously. Stop making fun of Amanda Bynes. What do you think about the current state of Broadway, the musicals of that genre? I'm just so happy that so many black folks won awards this year. Congratulations, Courtney Vance. Congratulations, my sister, my soror, the one and only iconic Cicely Tyson. Congratulations to the young woman, Patina, who is the star of Pippin. Girl, you are fabulous. You are all fabulous. And it is good to be black on Broadway. Mathers available in Orquick which is home testing, HIV and AIDS care. June 27th was National HIV AIDS Testing Day. And so many people did not know it was the day. We've stopped talking about it. Well, listen, I want you to know that testing has come a long way. You don't have to get stuck with a needle. You don't have to draw blood. There is aura quick. It is a quick mouth swab. Swab your mouth, put it in the solution. 20 minutes later, you have your HIV Status. And it is important that you know your status. It is important that you get tested. Why? Because you really matter. You matter. If you can have a green footprint, if you can have a carbon footprint, you can have a sexual footprint. Know your status. Get test tested. Do not pass this disease on. It doesn't have to happen. And you're the one in charge. Just go on and do it. Or a quick. And finally, what do you think God is trying to say to our nation? God is trying to tell you something. It's interesting. There have been times since way back in the Bible days where God has been trying to tell people he bought the, the, the pestilence, he bought the sickness, he bought the rain, you know, the floods. Listen, we are going through some trying times. We need to stand still, 
be calm and think about our actions. We need to be kinder to each other. In fact, take a page out of the good book. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Don't do unto them before they do unto you. Come on. Can we just do better by each other? Can we just do right by each other? Can we just consider the other person's feelings? Can't we get along? Well, didn't the great urban prophet say that? God rest his soul. But everybody's walking around like anybody got time for that. Come on now. This is the time for us to stop and do right by each other.